So I just got a Ryzen 9 7950X and a B650 board to go with it. But before you say I've gone crazy, that does actually make a lot more sense than you might think at first, because this isn't any regular B650 board. It's the B650E Aorus Master. So don't let the name fool you, because this is actually one of the better and cheaper AM5 mover boards you can buy right now. Oh, wow. Oh boy, that is super heavy. This is literally the heaviest board I've literally ever howled. That is insane. How much does this thing weigh? I mean, with so much heatsink everywhere on it, I guess it does make sense. But anyway, let us just open it up. And I mean, what can I say? That looks absolutely incredible. Wow, that's a good looking board. And here's something I'm gonna have to get used to because this is of course an AMD LGA socket. That is still so, so weird to say, but that's just the world we live in now. Now, I was just looking at this glorious PC Gen 5 16X slot, and I just noticed this. This release latch over here to make it easier to pop out your graphics card. That is actually really, really smart. I'm, I'm loving it. It's just such a simple thing, but just kind of makes the process of like upgrading hardware so much better. On top of that, you also have two additional 16X slots here, but no 1X slots, which is something that Gigabyte motherboards do nowadays, which you just do not get at all. Yes, I know that 1X cards are compatible with 16X slots, but let's be honest, no one wants to do that. We can all agree that a 1X card looks better in a 1X slot. And while these also give you compatibility with the ever more popular 4X slots, I'd rather just have 1X and 4X slots instead. But whatever, I guess they had to find space for all this M.2 here because you have one M.2 slot here with this absolutely giant heatsink. Can you guys see just the size of that one heatsink for that one M.2? That is insane. And then we have three additional ones here. And seeing how this motherboard does support PC Gen 5 on the M2s as well, I guess it makes sense that the Gen 5 heatsink is so massive. Speaking of massive heatsinks, I mean, VRM cooling wise, they also went overboard because just look at that from the profile here. That is all the heatsink for the VRMs. Look. That is absolutely insane. No wonder this motherboard weighs so much when literally everything is heat synced up. Now, I'm one of those weird people who actually likes having less stuff on the motherboard and I prefer to actually see a lot of the components underneath. So I might actually take off this uh, M.2 heat spreader over here just so there's a bit more, you know, of that nice circuitry underneath. But things are getting a bit too positive here. Let's go back to what I always love doing, complaining. Now the rear IO, as you can imagine, is pretty fantastic. It's Gigabyte you're talking about, so you have so much USB type A. In fact, you have a whopping 12 USB type A ports, not to mention, finally, I'm gonna get integrated USB type C, which I don't have on my motherboard. But look at this over here. Only three audio jacks, one of them being optical spidiff. Putting a 1x sound card in this motherboard isn't going to be the greatest option. So like, what am I supposed to do audio wise? Apart from just using an external interface or something, I don't know. So definitely let me know down in the comments below what I should do regarding audio. Because my current Sound Master Z, well, I probably won't be carrying over to this motherboard. But at the same time, I want something better than whatever this is. So yeah, let me know what I should do down in the comments below. So let's see exactly what else we have in the box here and wow, look at these stickers. Have I come back in time to like 2012 when these things were cool? Danger, Aorus trespassing. Please do not disturb, I'm pwning noobs in Call of Duty. My Aorus passport which grants me entry to the Republic of Gamers. And okay, this one here is actually pretty cool. Uh, someone please translate what this symbol means because I have no idea. Okay, so uh, this is also probably part of the reason this motherboard weighs so much. Look at how massive the backplate is. Like, why? What do you need so much additional metal for on the back of the motherboard? Apart from just making case clearance more of a pain. And looking at some of the other connectors here, we have tons of fans, tons of RGB and ARGB across here as well. We also have this thing here called a uh, noise sensor that has this little like uh, jumper. I have no idea why. I really don't know what this does, but whatever. And then down here you have even more fans 
and even more RGB and ARGB. It's absolutely insane how much of it you get on here. Oh, and I just realized that this peel is like already coming off, even though I didn't do anything to it. So uh, zero out of 10 gigabyte, do better. So hey, while you're still here, why don't you check out our Patreon, which is gonna be down in the video description below, because your support on there helps make videos like this possible, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Justin Rage, Olaf Ronyak, Bardish Velka, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lensby, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much, which truly goes a long way. Down here you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's it. It's I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>